Oh, hello there, you gorgeous lot. Uh, welcome back to Crafters TV. My name is Joe Remnitz. It is another Monday Makers, which means, of course, it is the start of a brand new week here on Crafters TV. And there is absolutely loads coming up for you uh, this week. Should we actually dive right in uh, and have a look at the crafty calendar? Because that is what is going to give you your roadmap if it were of all the wonderful things that are coming your way. So, uh, of course, we kicked off with a masterclass this morning, uh, and now uh, we are here, Monday Makers, uh, which is fantastic. Loads coming up tomorrow for you. John Scott Sewing World, mashed up with Softer Side of Life. Uh, that will be here in the morning at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. respectively. And then the launch party at 4 p.m. tomorrow evening uh, will be here, which is fantastic. Wednesday, uh, another masterclass coming your way in the morning. That's followed by Creative Cravings in the evening, our go-to uh, sort of uh, back to basic show, let's say. Thursday morning, uh, we have a masterclass for you and then cartload. It'll be fast, it'll be furious. You'll find fabulous deals uh, on Thursday evening here on Crafters TV. Uh, and then Friday, Colour Me Happy, myself and Leanne will be here. And then it's the Craft House where we recommend, uh, where we welcome in some of you uh, lovely lot to join us, where we get all our friends over and we kick the weekend off in style. That'll be at 4 p.m. Uh, and 11 a.m. if you're on the east coast best of i'll be back with that on saturday bringing you the best of all the recent deals and goings on and then second chance sunday where you guys are in charge it's what you guys i uh, want to see back here on the channel get your uh Get your requests in uh, by emailing a studio at craftscompanion.co.uk and popping Second Chance Sunday in the comments. Right, I am not here on my own today. Uh, Craig is here with me. How are you, Craig? I'm not bad, thanks, Joe. It's so good to be back here for uh, Monday Makers. It's been quite a while since uh, I've been on Monday Makers with your good self, so I'm really looking forward to that. Ease myself in. I say ease myself in. We went right in earlier on today for uh, Masterclass, so I'm now looking forward to this Monday, Monday afternoon here in the UK for a bit of uh, crafty fun. Oh, wonderful. You're... Uh Garden looks beautiful behind you uh, over there, Craig. It's lovely. Do you it know? Is, is it? Is it? Are you, are you backing onto a golf course there, by the looks of it? It's just underneath. Just underneath here. There's a lovely bit of decan. Oh. Now, there's not a lot, but just a little bit. You can just see it and no more. It's lovely. Bit dark at your side, but I've got the sunshine right behind me. Yeah, you have indeed. Looks like you've been out there uh, pruning away all weekend. Right before um, Craig tells us a bit more about what's coming up on the show today, I need to dive in and give you the details of the Monday Mega Deal uh, and the Monday Mega Deal is an amazing deal on four of our uh, stamp and cut foil stamp and cut dies uh, that we have for you on the show so what you've got you're gonna get four of our most popular uh, radiating dies so you've got that there now that's what they come like let me run you through the options uh, that you've got within here so you've got be happy uh, which is this one just here as you can see uh, so that one there what it does is it foils all these elements and it cuts it out for you as well uh, you've also then got as well this one here this is your superstar and you have dream and finally shine bright now they are all coming included because they are uh, your monday mega deal uh, they are on a fabulous price for you they should be 59.96 in the uk or 79.80 in the uk but you're going to pay half of that today which is brilliant uh taking it down to 28.77 here in the uk 38.30 uh, if you're in the us now as always uh, the monday mega deal only lasts for 24 hours so you'll need to grab it whilst we have got it and you'll need to be quick for it as well now uh craig got the monday mega deal coming out i know you love a bit of foiling uh, but there's a lot in this show today uh, do you want to whiz us through some of the highlights what we can look forward to Absolutely. So what we're going to do is we're going to start. We've got our uh, interchangeable sentiment die. So these are all about the frames and exactly that. You can interchange all the sentiments that come within them. So you get a selection in each set and you get three different sentiments. So this sort of thing you can see there, we've got let it snow and we've got three different sentiments that fits in there. What about the tree? You can see we've got on that one just there. Or what about even making home decor? It doesn't just have to be all about the cards. You can mix and match. Bring any of your other uh, crafty projects and products into the flow of it. So that's something that we're going to be focusing on just shortly. But then we've also got the Christmas over, uh, I say over the edge, it's the peekaboo. Uh, they're uh, stamping dies. So this is the sort of thing just here that it creates with just exactly that over the edge. And if I just show you there, look at them. It's like they're peeping out, hence the name Peekaboo. So you can be making that, or then what about doing little boxes of that where you can actually die cut them into the middle as well and you can do all sorts of different things. 
doesn't end just there. We all know, yeah, we've got the foil press, one of my favourites. I love the double-sided dies. We've got a window die, so you can see on this, this is the sort of thing that you can be using with these ones. So these do that, they're double-sided dies, so you get your two designs on one that actually fit on top of each other, creating the shadow effect. So you can make your cards, you can make all your pop-up boxes, your concept cards that you can see just there. What about a bit of home decor? You can see just there. And then last but not least, just to show you, Joe, a few ideas that you were uh, showing with the actual foil press. Now, I did get my way. I did get my way and I went kicking and screaming, 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 and uh, was saying, come on, have to put the foil press on. Please come have a wee play. So we'll show you them later on as well. Have a wee play with the foil press. Mm, looking forward uh, to that. Uh, it's going to be a very, very busy show. Loads of you uh, saying hello uh, already over on Crafter TV, which is where I'm monitoring the conversation. Tina saying hi from Alabama. Uh, it's snooze you lose. Y'all, Sonia's in the building. It's all from Louisiana. Good morning. And she says hi, Joe and Craig Marion saying morning from North Carolina. Uh, Christine's here. I can see Robin's here too. Anne in Connecticut. Carol Lynn's there. Uh, loads of you saying hello. Any questions that you've got as we go through the show, that is the place. Uh, where you definitely need to get them in. Right, let's crack on. We're going to look firstly at the peekaboos. Now, this was something uh, that we launched very recently here on Crafters TV, and you guys have absolutely uh, loved it and gone wild for them uh, because they are, well, they're just fantastic. They're a really great uh, concept card, and there's so much... Uh, that you can do with them as well. So there's loads of different ways uh, that you're able to use these, which is fantastic. So uh, this here is, of course, the Santa. There's loads, you're going to get lots in here. So you're also going to get the elf in here. You have got uh, the reindeers here, which is merry. And you've then got uh, your snowman coming included. Loads of different ways that you can use these over the edge. You can pop them into an aperture uh, as well if you want to. You've got the penguin uh, in here as well. There's that cheeky little chappy. Uh, we've got the Christmas mouse in there. And uh, you're also going to get the polar bear. And you're going to get, oh, I've dropped, the, I've dropped my Christmas robin. Uh, there we go. And you've got the Christmas robin in there as well. Now, you can get them all uh, if you wish. That's the best way uh, to get the best value. Uh, £41 or $75. I always have to check that price. I just think it's an amazing deal uh, when you consider what you are getting. Uh, you're also going to get the uh, arches included as well. It's going to allow you to cut the aperture in there. So you get those two different arch dies included as well. 35% uh, off of that. Very, very busy. Uh, and it has been very, very busy over the weekend uh, as well. We're going to move on. And we're going to move on to the window dies. Now, these are double-sided dies that were only launched really recently. Uh, again, here on Crafters TV. There's absolutely uh, lots of different ways that you can use these. And what I love about them is they are not in any way um, occasion specific, which is fantastic. So you've got a few different ones in here. They are our double sided die. So, of course, you will need our double sided die plates. Uh, if you want to use them, uh, but they mean it means basically. Whereas we bring you a uh, creator card die, these are individually available twenty two ninety nine or twenty five ninety five. A creator card would die would normally be twenty uh, nineteen ninety nine. So really, you're getting forty pounds worth of dies for twenty two ninety nine. Even less if you go for it as part of the collection. So you've got the cherry blossom in here. You've also got the lily, just gorgeous that one. Uh, you've then got the peony, which is that one there. There's the rose, you've got the lily, which is that one there, and you've got uh, the water lily as well, which is absolutely uh, beautiful. Sorry, the one that I said was the lily a moment ago. Let me just correct myself. That one there was the... Uh, chew Where's it gone? Have I lost my tulips? <gasps> no, do you know what I've got? No, I've, I've made a boo-boo. I've got two... <gasps> I've got two lilies. I need to find a tulip. You'll get, don't you worry, you'll get, you'll get a tulip and a lily, uh, by all means. £110 or $120. Everyone will get free postage and packaging, free shipping and handling on that as well. If you are a Club Inspire member in the UK, you'll save another £22. Club Inspire members in the US would save uh, $24. So really, really fantastic value if you want to go for those. Now, I think... These next ones are going to be the star of the show, you know, because we re uh, re recently launched them here on Crafters TV um, around about two weeks ago now, uh, and they were very, very busy. We've restocked them as well, but they continue to be extremely busy. Now, the great thing about these is, again, these are creator cards, which is fantastic because our creator cards are brilliant. They are really 
a one pass wonder. You pop them in and you pass it through and you're done. Now, the great thing about these are, individually they're 24.99, but really you're getting three creator cards because what you've got is, you've got three different sentiments which interchange uh, within the one creator card. So you can see you've got the uh, Christmas tree frame there, which has happy holidays. It also has Merry Christmas and season's greetings. Uh, you've then got the star frame. Now in the star frame, you've got the star of wonder, peace on earth, and you've also got uh, joy to the world as well. So again, three different sentiments you're able to use there. You can actually just take the sentiment out on its own and use it individually if you wish. There's lots of different ways that you're going to be able to use these. This one here is the uh, snowflake frame. So you've got let it snow, winter wishes, uh, and believe in the magic. And then here, this one, you've got uh, interchangeable holly frame, which is deck the halls, jolly holidays, and tis the season. Uh, a fifth of the stock has gone already on those. 79.97 to get all four of them, or 105.57 uh, if you want to get them in the USA. There is a Joe, uh, Joe wants to know uh, in this hour as well. Uh, I think it is uh, how many countries uh, have you visited or travelled to? Uh, as I should say, as the world starts opening up, we can start travelling. I thought it might be nice to, you know, get excited about uh, some of the places we visited and, and where maybe we might be going to again in the near future. Uh, loads of you still saying hello. Ah, oh, Debbie's watching. What am I like? Hello, Debbie. Uh, who else is here today? As I can see Sally and Valerie and Tracy and Deborah and Ray. Julia Kerry's in, Debbie Holiday, uh, lots of you. Big, big audience uh, today uh, as well. Jeffrey's letting me know how the weather is in New Hampshire, as he always does. Thank you very much for that, uh, Jeffrey. New records in New Hampshire. Uh, right, I'm going to hand you over to Craig because I know uh, that he's excited to get his hands on. You've been watching all of these launch happen, all of these launches happen over the next, the last week or so, Craig. You must be, it must be nice to finally get your hands on these products. It's so good to uh, get my hands on these products. Absolutely, yeah. So I have been obviously for the last 12 weeks uh, watching from home and uh, seeing all these cool things coming through. And now it's my turn. My turn to get my teeth stuck in, not just for today. I'm here all week. I'm uh, here kind of into next week as well. Uh, so it's raring to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off, with, we're going to use the interchangeable sentiment dies, uh, the frame dies. Now these are some of my favourites. We're going to be using the snowflake to start with. And this is really, really, uh, it's a really on trend sort of snowflake what I mean by that is if you can see the actual die so what happens is you've got the actual die so you've got that inside the outside so if you were to cut into a piece of card just with that that's going to cut into your card you've got the actual frame on the outside as well but then the great thing about these because they're interchangeable we've got three different sets of sentiments that you can then pop in so you can uh, choose which one you want so we've got uh, let it snow on this one here we've got winter wishes on this one here and then on this one we've got believe in the magic so then you can choose what ones that you want to uh, use so what we're going to do to start with we are going to die cut them so depending on obviously what size you're wanting if you're wanting to cut them into a larger uh, piece of card then of course you would need your large Gemini or other die cut machines that take the large one I'm just going to be using uh, the actual frame so it's it is five by five in size, so it's going to go through the Gemini Junior, no problem at all. So what I've just done is I've just taken a piece of patterned paper that I've already got, and I'm just going to tape these down. Now, if you are a bit worried or concerned about doing the two die cutting at once, you can do the outside frame first and then do the detail in the middle or vice versa. I know that just using our low-tack tape, if I tape them down, um, all the way around, they're going to stay in place and there's going to be no problem. So what I'm then just going to do is, it's going to be our uh, plastic shim, magnetic shim, and then it is our top cut and plate. Just going to run that one through. So what that's obviously going to do is between the pressure as well as the die, that's going to uh, die cut all these pieces. Great thing with the snowflake, you'll find it throughout a lot of them, but certainly with the snowflake, is you've got a lot of snowflakes that die cut out. So what that means is you can then keep a hold of them and use them elsewhere. So what I'm going to do is I do want to emboss it as well. So if I move that out the way, you can maybe just see all that. It's what we say as a pencil line. It's like a, a light pencil line, all that detail. Obviously, this bit's come out because we don't need that. But anyway, so then what I'm going to do is if I can find my small embossing mat, which I've got here, just because I want to also emboss all that detail that's inside. So I'm going to put my embossing mat in. And then what I'm going to do is take my magnetic sheet out because we don't want them both in. 
run that one through again. So what that's going to do is that's just then going to push the actual die cut area uh, into that die even more. It's going to obviously curve the edges and just give it a nice deboss area in certain parts. Snowflake, very, very busy is what I'm hearing, Craig. If you want the snowflake individually, you'll need to be quick for it. Uh, when the snowflake goes as well, the big bundle will be gone as well. So if you want the large collection or you want the snowflake, then you need to be quick for them. If you've got your eye on the Christmas tree or the star uh, or the holly, you've got a little bit more time. It's still very busy, but it is that snowflake and the big collection which are going to be the first to go, Craig. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. There's just something about the snowflakes. It's just, it works all the time. All, well, maybe not all year round, but it works uh, every Christmas. Changing the colours, it's entirely up to yourself and they can look completely different. So what I'm then just going to do now is that because we had the outside, we had the inside, and then we would also have the middle, I'm just tending to do the outside first and then I'll tend to uh, go back and then just do the sentiment. So again, you can choose which one that you want to actually use. I think I'll go for the Believe. Believe in the magic. I'm just going to pop that back in and then you can see that they actually just slot in. So what I just want to do is I just want to make sure because I want to have the snowflake, you know, in the right line as well as with the sentiment. So as that sits there, I'm just going to tape that in again. I'm just going to run that one through. So this is where you can then choose one of three. However, you can use the actual die on its own without the sentiment or what you could also do is use the actual sentiments on their own. You don't have to use them with the dies. So a lot of versatility. You don't have to use this outside. So when I say that cuts into your card, that means you could do like box lids, anything like that where it stays in place. So let's take all these ones out and they were just going to peel that one off and then what we're then going to do is take away the die let's do that in a moment if we take that there we're going now look at that so we can see i'm going to get a bit of white card in a moment and then let's just take it our seems like it just falls tail. out of there uh craig comes in up very very easily it really, really does. That's how I always say as well, it's always good if you can to do the embossing as well. Not all dies have um, such embossed areas, but certainly with this one, you'll know exactly what I mean when I say it rounds the edge. If you were to die cut this or multiple different dies and leave it just like that, if you were to then come along and actually run it through with the embossing mat like I've just done there, you can see it actually rounds all the edges just nicely. Plus, it helps just to give you a more detailed die cut. So if I just pop all these wee bits out, if you've got your uh, die release tool, then you can use that as well. So if I then just bring in a piece of white card, and if we can then just see, so we're going to see just there. So we've got all that detail. So we've got all these snowflakes all the way around. And then what we've got is we've got Believe in the Magic. That is then just staying in place. You could actually just snip that out if you wanted to. You could do that if you want. And then what you could also do is come around, come around all the edges and just do a wee bit of inking. So any of your water reactive, maybe gilding waxes, anything like that, which I have done already. And then what I've also done is I've just come along with this one was our Starry Sky Sparkle Pen. So if I show you, just on this one here, all that we've just done is just gone over, just with our Sparkle Pen, and just into the actual sentiment, where it says Believe, I've just gone over that whole area with a darker blue, and then what that's going to do is that's going to pick out that sentiment even more. And then what we're just going to do is finish this bit off. I'm going to do this quickly because I do have that other one. I guess the one. joy with these is, Craig, is that you've got so much open space as well, isn't it? So to create an aperture with these, you know, if you're putting other different textures and finishes behind, you're going to get all of that detail coming through as well. You really are. Now you could then come along in a paper piece, so you can die cut it all again in another piece of colour, another bit of card, and then start to paper piece it in. So if we then move that out of the way. Now, did you see earlier on in Masterclass we had the stencils on? Why not create your own stencils with these as well? So you could ink through them now, you could use your pastes through them, not just a die, but you've then got a stencil as well. All these different things that you can be doing. 
So we've got this one that I've already done, and all this is on is I've just ran this through a Xyron machine, so it's got adhesive on the I back I didn't know already. we did big Xyrons like that, you know. I, d I believe they have been uh, out of stock for uh, some have. time I've seen now. A, a three and a half inch one, I think, was the There's, biggest one I've seen. Yeah. Uh, Cindy Sue is most definitely, loads of uh, love for you still, Craig, uh, on Facebook and on YouTube. Cindy Sue says, two bearded studs are back for us to enjoy. <laughs> <gasps> Shut the back door, Cindy. Uh, she says, Craig, glad to see you. Uh, your vote to shave or keep the beard was to keep. It Joe was. Uh, would have had to have shaved his as well. I'm not sure about that, Cindy Sue. Um, by the way, <laughs> Joe, what happened to the picture you were going to post of your knitted shorts? I've been sick all week and was looking forward to a wee giggle. Well, that's all. I mean, that's no tonic. Me in crocheted rainbow shorts, uh, Cindy. So I'll put it on tonight. I must remember. Sorry, I'll, I'll put it on. Uh, I'll put it on to, uh, for tomorrow. Yeah, do it tomorrow. I, I will schedule it tonight so it happens uh, tomorrow. Mary saying hello. Uh, Julie's very happy because her dear Mancunian husband of nearly 30 years surprised her with an order, Craig, for a full-size Gemini this wow. week. That's the kind of partner that you need in your life, isn't it? Yes. Absolutely it is. You know, you can do the, so many different things with obviously the uh, large Gemini. We get asked that quite a lot. So if you can, if you go for the larger Gemini, because then that just means you can die up pretty much everything. Everything out there is obviously your A4. And then you can maybe look to come down to the A5 if you want something a wee bit smaller. So what we're going to do is we're then just going to uh, create this card now. We're going to put it together. So I've just taken another piece of pattern paper that kind of coordinates. And I've just taken some of our texture blue cardstock. Just, of course, a bit of matting and layering. I may have been gone for uh, 12 weeks, but that doesn't stop me doing the matting and layering and 3D foam pads. And then I've just taken a card blank. So what we've done, so this one is six by six. And then I've just scored from the top left all the way down to the bottom right. And then what this is doing is giving us a twisted easel shape just there. So if I then take that one that we've just done, and then I'm just going to go all the way around with adhesive. That's then just going to go onto the base, just like so. And then we're just going to uh, actually just press that down. Now you could also die cut into the base as well if you wanted. No problem doing it that way. Then I've got some uh, other layers as well. So we've got another white layer, blue layer, and a smaller one. So if I take this bit of uh, white, and then I'm just going to peel this one off. So if I just peel that one off, that's all sticky already on the back. However, you could be using your uh, adhesive sprays, you could be using your dotty tape runner, anything like so. And then that's just held into place just perfectly and that's going to stay. So then what we're going to do is just layer these ones up and then this is going to create the finished card. Now, although I had some of the elements already just um, die cut ready to go, it really is quite quick and simple to make these cards. Of course, at Christmas time, you know, we make and give more cards than any other time of the year. So yeah, you want them to be really quick. However, you want them to be really effective and really stunning and really striking. And that's exactly what these ones do I think as the joy well. of our creative cards as well, Craig, isn't it? That it is just about you running it through and that's pretty much most of the work done for you, which if you've got a lot of cards to make or you're making your cards to sell, well, these are just made for that, aren't they? They absolutely are. They really, really are. And you can be as simple as you want or you can be as uh, detailed as you want. It's entirely up to yourself. So what I'm just doing now, just to finish off, is on this fold of the card, on this one just here, what I'm then just going to do is just pop some adhesive just onto there. And then what that's going to do is that's then going to hold this in place. So I know that it needs to go like that. So if I just press that in, and press. So then as I start to open up, we can see he says he needs to go the other way. Oh, oh you made it out of straight. Rookie one. error. Rookie error. So it goes that way. So as if we hold that into place, like that, there we go. And then as we turn that round, that starts to give you that opening of the easel, twisted easel. So then what we've just done is using the winter wishes, we've just die cut that one out. So that is the sentiment. So if I take the winter wishes, which was this one here. So we've just die cut that out into the white and then just snipped it out. So we've just got the sentiment just there. And then what we can do is just take an oval. Uh, this is our scalloped oval one. So then that could then just sit over the top, which then gives us that effect. Now this Beautiful. is going to be our stopper because we need something just to uh, stop the base. So if we can just open that, 
and then if we take the foam off the back and then you can then just decide where about you want that stopper to go. So if I place that just there, and then last but not least, what we can do is if I just take my tape runner again, and then I'll just take in just a couple of our uh, actual snowflakes. These are the ones that were die cut and came out of the actual die. Who would you give this card to, Craig? This is Who one. To? I think the good thing with a lot of Christmas cards, you know, are so good for you know any, any age, any sex, anything like that. However, this one is uh, it's going to be good for a guy, you know, because you've got a lot of blues in it with the snowflake. You know, who doesn't love snowflakes? You know, whether mm. you're young, whether you're older, male, well, female. Some people anyone. maybe even accused me of being a bit of a snowflake in the past, Craig. Who knows? Apparently, yeah. Well, let's not get into that debate. Let's not. I think you need to let it go. <laughs> Absolutely. Snowflakes being thrown around everywhere on social media at the moment. Uh, really beautiful <laughs> card, that one, Craig. Thank you so much uh, for that. You could send a snowflake card to your, you know, your snowflake grandson or granddaughter if you wanted to, or any other snowflake in your life. It's completely up to you. Uh, very, very busy on the main collection and on the snowflake. They really uh, are the ones uh, that are going to go first, both the snowflake and the main collection deal i love these because what you're actually getting is think about it you're not getting uh four credit card dice that is exactly what you're getting but really you're getting what 12 dice in total because you're going to make 12 different cards in just one pass uh 30 percent of this big collection now has say that and gone you're going to get the christmas tree which has happy holidays merry christmas and seasons greetings you've also got the interchangeable star which has star of wonder peace on earth and joy to the world You've then got as well the snowflake frame. Let it snow, winter wishes. Believe in the magic. Do you believe in the magic, Craig? I always believe in the magic. I it's early at so. Christmas time. You've got to believe in the magic. Got to believe in magic, you've got to believe in Santa Claus. Don't believe, you don't receive. That's nope. what I was told. Uh, we've also got uh, as well holly frame. This is my favorite, I think, the holly frame. I think in the top of a box that is gonna look beautiful with those baubles or ornaments in there. You've got deck the, whole, deck the halls, uh, jolly holidays, Tis the season. Producer Laura says this box is going to have fudge in it. Of course it is going to have fudge in it. It absolutely uh, is. Now, if you did want to go for a couple of them, absolutely you can individually. $24.99, $32.99. You get any two for $42.50 or $55. Now, if you want to start the, uh, if you want the snowflake or you want the big collection, you need to act now. You need to get it in your basket. You need to get it checked out. If you want one of the other threes or a couple of the other three, uh, you've got a bit more time. You can wait a little while. Maybe towards uh, the end of the show, you can build your basket and take your time uh, if you want the collection though please act fast for it very very busy uh, there let's see what everyone's chatting about oh uh, there's a lot of mancunian chatter in uh, uh, the comments i'm gonna be a mancunian soon craig you know uh, you uh, would tell me just uh, before we went live yeah i'm looking forward to that an honorary uh, mancunian i'm sure what uh, uh, that's what my i've got this uh, scottish friend uh, and she says as a joke, on a r -r 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 Scottish person. I don't know why. That's not a Scottish thing. It's not a Scottish thing. Oh, I thought... Okay, fair enough. Um, <laughs> um, Stephen's message to say that he has a, had a message telling him his orders of the um, peekaboos and the whole rose gold collection has been dispatched. Did you see the rose gold collection, Craig? What did you make of it? Because it I was am so busy. Desperate to get my hands on that rose gold. I absolutely love. Seriously. Ooh. It's been added. Been Not added to the show day. tomorrow night, Coming apparently. Up. Yes. So we will have some. I, I absolutely I love rose gold. I love the colour. And uh, I cannot wait. I'm going to be able to get my hands on it and get a wee bit of a play. Ooh, yes. I believe uh, some of the rose gold items have been added to the show tomorrow night you'll have to come back and see what we've got there uh, a lot of you have been talking about uh, what you've been uh, ordering valerie's gone for the tulip in the uh, flower dyes which is lovely a lot of people saying good morning um <laughs> cindy says after watching the am show should we name these two men gone wild uh, cindy's having a lovely time uh, in the comments today uh, right oh the barons of beards apparently that's what we could be called craig according to uh, paula puckett um <laughs> Lots of you, you're having, <laughs> having a lot of lols today in the comments. Uh, I'm going to hand you back to Craig, so I know he's got another demonstration that he's desperate to share with you. 
I do indeed. So this time we're going to be using the interchangeable star frame. So with this one here, so if I just quickly show you again with this one here, the same idea, but you've got the detail with all that star, you've got the outside edge, and you've got three additional sentiments that you can then choose from. So what I'm going to do with this one, again, I'm going to use the outside and the inside, and then I am going to use one of the sentiments. So this time what we'll do, just to show you how they can all work at the exact same time, pop them all in. So then within these ones, you've got peace on earth, you have got joy to the world and you've also got star wonder so you could be uh, mixing and matching any of these that you wanted to use so, so if you're craig if you're using if you're just not using the outside this is might be a silly question no does no it, if you're not using the outside die would you still use the inside die or does it not matter you can use it with or without and then do you get what i'm saying yeah. So if I was to take that one out, so you can see that that gives you a nice nested square frame that mm. you can use. So that will die cut and then that will give you a full on square. If you were to use that on its own, then what you can do is uh, that will then actually stay within that size of cardstock at that I've given you just there. And then that's not going to come out. That's going to stay as and it is. And will the central element come out? Would that centre piece uh, be it would come out? So that would stay in. That doesn't actually have an outside cutting edge. So if you want to right. take that away, you would just need to either take your scissors or uh, take your craft knife and then just cut all the way around and then that's going to then take that out however if you don't mind it being a circle or an oval or a square anything like that then you could put one of your nesting dies all the way around and then that's going to help die cut it as fantastic. well fantastic brilliant so what we can do is let's put these ones in to start with so all that i'm just going to do is line these ones up and we're just going to place it on. So I'm just using, this is from our Ice Blue Luxury cardstock. So this one is the Satin Blue. I absolutely love Satin Blue. So for this one, let's go for Peace on Air. So again, we're just going to place this in. So this is what I mean like earlier on when I said you can do it all individually in stages. If you so wish, you know, you absolutely can. But if I know that they're taped down well, there's no chance of them uh, jumping over on top of each other and damaging each other. So we're just going to leave it like that. We're going to move it out of the way. So it's going to be our plastic shim, magnetic shim, and our top cutting plate. That's then going to run all the way through. And then as that starts to die cut, what we'll do again is once that comes out, we're going to run that through again with the embossing mat. And that's just, just going to finish off all the edges and the detail from that down. Uh uh, the lovely Debbie has said hello. She says, hello, my two gorgeous boys, uh, watching oh. you both on the big telly. <gasps> You've upgraded your Crafters TV crafting experience, Debbie. She's got us on a big TV. How fabulous. Are you a big telly watcher, Craig? Me. I, li yeah. I like my TV. I like my TV. You know, funny enough, you know, there's been a lot of TV watching over the last 12 weeks. But, uh, yeah, in general, when I'm crafting away, I do tend to put the TV on. I don't have the music on a lot. It's usually the TV that I But if on. you're watching Crafters TV, where do you watch this? Big telly, tablet, laptop? Oh, uh, right. I see what you mean. So if I'm watching it from uh, downstairs, then uh, I beam it across from my iPad or my phone onto my TV and I can watch through YouTube. That's a good way of doing it. Um, and I've just recently found out... Um, here in the UK, you know, we have Sky, we've got Virgin, we've got Freeview. I've just found out that if you've got Sky, if you were to beam your, if you're watching on YouTube, on your phone mm -hmm. or your iPad, beam it to your Sky box, your Sky box will play it via YouTube on your TV. Oh. So give that one a shot as Ooh, well. I'll find that very, very, very clever. Day. So what I've just done, exactly the same again, but I have just ran it through my embossing folder. So with these ones, you've got lots of little stars, little dies, little actual um, dots and that that you could be using. So if I then peel all these off, and then what I'm just going to do, see even most of them have come out on their own. So if I just finish these wee bits, pop these out, and you're going to see how that's die cut the outside edge, it's also die cut all that detail surrounding, and even that sentiment. So we've got that one just there, that says to us, peace on earth, and there's a bit of, well, a bit of lilac, that lets it stand out that wee bit more so you can see just there. And then what we're just going to do to finish this one off, I've just um, used my scoreboard, um, and I've just, uh, scored all the lines just to create my own box. What I'm going to do, I am just going to use my tape for speed. I would advise to use our wet tacky glue, certainly when it comes to construction, certainly when it comes to glitter card. So I'm just working my way around and then I'm just going to press these together. 
And then what we're just going to do is we're actually going to use what we just die cut a moment ago as then it's going to be the lid. Now this is going to be a full on part. What you could do as well is this bit here that I am um, actually put together now is actually the base. What you could have done is when it comes to the lid, so the lid is the silver car just here. So before I pop that together, what you could have done is you could have then actually used your die. So if we then take this one, so if I take away that outside detail, so if we just used that inside die on its own, what that would have done is that would have cut into the card and then therefore you would have a box lid with all that detail within oh, there. Oh, gorgeous. So uh, Jan's saying way. that the uh, the music stencils we did earlier, Craig, would work beautifully uh, with the deck, the halls that we got on the show today. They Great would. way of mixing and matching there. Absolutely, they would. And that's such a good idea when it comes to doing that, mixing and matching. Sandra says, someone just made Craig's day. Rose gold tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, I, this is new news to me. So if it doesn't happen, please don't blame me. Uh, it's not. It's, it's nothing to do with me. <laughs> uh, but no, it looks like we will have it back on tomorrow, which will be fantastic. That is a beautiful, beautiful box you've got there, Craig. Thank you very much. So we've just uh, popped that box together. Then all that I'm just going to do is we've got that one just there. Have we got? We don't have a dotty tape on it. So what I'm just going to do? I'm just going to lean just behind me, and I'm actually just going to take my stick and spray. So this one is the uh, permanent adhesive. Have so you seen the spray box? Have you got the spray box? I spotted oh. this earlier on. This it's definitely me think. not a cardboard box cut in half. That's no, not what it is. No, I didn't think so. It is That's... a dedicated spraying booth. So we've got the spraying booth. So all that I'm just doing, so this is, you can check all these out on the website. So this is just an adhesive spray. This is one of our uh, permanent ones. So what I'm just doing, giving that just short, sharp blast over the back. And then we will just hold that just for a couple of seconds or so just to let that evaporate. Then what that's going to do is that's going to obviously cover that fill back because you've got all that detail there. I love my double-sided tape, but of course I wouldn't use double-sided tape for something like this because it's so detailed. So you can then use your stick and spray in the permanent one, and then we can then place that in. And then what we can do, just to finish off, I've just got a wee ribbon, and you can use either your hot glue gun or a bit of our Colal glue gel. And we can just pop that to the bottom, just with a wee gem. And then there we go, we've now created a nice wee box using the actual uh, die set as well. So you could put little gifts in, you could put maybe, maybe some homemade treats or that in, you could change the sentiment, a bit of paper piece in, so many different things that you can do with it. Just looking absolutely uh, beautiful uh, there. Right, I want to recap uh, this deal again for you because 40% uh, now of this uh, collection has sold out and gone. So you will need to be quick for it. Let me just quickly whiz through the four that you've got in here. So you've got your Happy Holidays, your Merry Christmas, and your Season's Greetings, which is your Christmas tree frame. Uh, you've also got your Interchangeable Star, which is your Star of Wonder, uh, your Peace on Earth, and Joy to the World. Uh, you then have this one here. It's your Snowflake frame. That's got Let It Snow, Winter Wishes, and Believe in the Magic. And then finally, your Interchangeable Holly frame uh, with Deck the Halls, Tis the Season, and jolly holidays. 40% uh, uh, of the stock of the big collection has sold out and gone. So you'll need to be quick uh, for that. Uh, Craig, do you want to run us through a quick a few different ways of using this? Absolutely, I do. Yeah, we've got so many different ways in which you can use them. So look at this really deep box that we can do. And then so we've actually used the die on uh, the top there, but then we've used the sentiments that you can see all the way around on their own. So you can use them together or use them separately. It's entirely up to yourself. Maybe make some wee hanging baubles just with the sentiments. You could be doing that sort of stuff. Then what about your actual concept cards? Again, just using your scoreboards. And then you could be making things like that. So you can be bringing them in so you can make them, give them extra height and dimension, whereas actually all that it is is just down to the fold in then we can see with the Christmas tree and they're bringing in all your gems anything that you've got at home like your twine and that incorporate it all so you can see just there. so if I bring that that way so then what we've just done is we've actually used the actual sentiment in the middle but then just snipped it out so this gives us a nice you know it's like a wee silhouette within the middle there that you could then stencil through don't forget, actually do some actual stamping or do distressing or do any of your inking over the top as well. I used the pattern papers earlier on, but why not create your own background, your distress background, and die cut that. 
So there we go. So look at that one as well. Really jingle jangly. And then there's just another wee snowflake one that you can see just there. Again, these are great if you want to add height and dimension without using foam pads. You can just use your acetate, anything like that, and then just start to create dimension just there. How wonderful, very, very busy on that collection. Uh, the Snowflake and the main collection are the ones that are uh, looking the most vulnerable at the minute. Still so much more to come uh, in this video. Still loads of demonstrations, loads of deals uh, coming up. Now, we have loads of new viewers all the time joining us here at Crafters TV. Uh, so there's a fabulous uh, club that we have for you uh, here at Crafters Companion, and it is called uh, Club Inspire. Here's Sarah with all the details. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. All the details there of Club Inspire, which is fantastic. That just means you save even more money uh, and you can use it in conjunction with all the other deals that we bring you here at Crafters TV. Those interchangeable creator cards, very, very busy there. Uh, I do worry they may go in this hour. So if you want them, you will need to be very quick for them. Uh, now we're going to move on to the peekaboos. These are, well, we launched these recently here on Crafters TV and they are just super, super cute. Of course, they were launched as part of our Christmas event. They're really fantastic fantastic because they are a concept die system so you can do all of the edgeable techniques that you already know and love with these which is brilliant if you're unfamiliar of the edgeable techniques now remember there are uh, hours and hours and hours of edgeable technique uh, master classes uh, available to you over on crafters tv so you can see there you've got santa you had the elf you've got the reindeer we've got the snowman in this collection uh, the penguins are in there for you uh, these are all really really usable whether it is card projects or uh, tags or scrapbooks that you are creating uh, with these there's the mouse uh, you've got the robin in here as well which is just gorgeous uh, i thought that was a turkey when i first saw it doesn't look anything like a turkey. I don't know where I was. I have a turkey on the brain, I think. Uh, and then you've, of course, got that polar bear in there. On a Z-fold, I think that's fantastic because, of course, you've got his face that side and then uh, his bare bottom uh, on the other side. Uh, 41 75 uh, sorry, £41.75. Um, if you want to go for the whole collection, I think you have to be quite quick because uh, almost a third of that has already gone uh, in the show. So very, very busy there. If you do want to get them individually, you can get two for £11 or $17 uh, if you want to get them like that. Or six ninety nine nine or nine ninety five dollars each. Uh, if you're going for the big collection as well, you'll get the two window arch frames included, which allows you to cut all of those apertures in, which is fantastic. Stephen Lee looking forward uh, to crafting along with his rose gold uh, collection tomorrow, which is... Uh, uh, fantastic um 
Uh, Sandra, Sally's saying there's so much in it, you'll still be unpacking it this time tomorrow. I no doubt he still uh, will be. Hi, says Judy, to Joe and Craig from Colorado. Um, lots of love for those interchangeables as well. Al- Elaine uh, saying, I have the Christmas interchangeable dice. OMG, they're absolutely amazing. Another winner. Uh, so um, loads of you commenting along. Uh, the Peekaboos, Craig. Again, another launcher that we recently brought you here at Crafters TV. Another chance for you to get your hands on them. What do you make of them so far? They are so cute, they really are, and you've got different characters that all kiddies, and even adults as well, would absolutely love. But the fact is, is you can then use them as the actual edgeables, of course they can be the peekaboo, and you've even got the back of them as well, so they can be peering into the window or out of the window. You know, they could be sitting on top of each other. If you are uh, an experienced stamper, and then what you can then do is if you can then use your masking techniques and you can start to build them all up as well. So within that, we've seen that one just there, we've got just there, and then we've got this one just here so we can see you can do that just within the middle how cute is that really is cute but then this is what I mean by if you're an experienced stamper then you can start to do all your layering up you can then just use the background of the actual like huddles of penguins and then just with the wee heads just popping out just there as well so don't think so you have to just use them with the dies and how they are uh, intended to you can uh, do all these different things as well so, that being said, we'll have a wee play and see what we can be coming up with. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do just uh, a wee bit different in the fact of what I've done, is I've just taken our uh, nesting die. So this is our stitched edge nesting die, and I'm just going to die cut this. I've just taken a bit of green that I had to hand, and then all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to die cut that and layer that one up. So we can show you as well. That woke Joe up. What was up. that? I don't know, I, I, I don't know what that I don't know was. don't know where that came from, I have no idea. Know. Uh, so what that's going to do is obviously we're going to die, we're, we're going to die cut that, uh, that was me Joe. What Don't was worry. it? It was me. I knocked over a plate. Oh! <laughs> I, I didn't know, I was like, oh, sounds like you the place is falling down. Sounds like the place is falling down. I was like, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> so what I've just done here is, so we've just die cut that one out just there that you can see. Then what I'm just going to do is, I'm just going to, now you could be a lot more precise, just roughly down the middle. What I'm just going to do is just draw a light pencil line because we are actually going to end up scoring it. However, if we score it now, then what's going to happen is you're actually going to end up scoring through the actual uh, image. So let's just take a bit of low tack tape. Now we've got our uh, wee uh, stamps and sentiments just here that are so cute. So we've got the stamps, so you've got your sentiments as well as uh, your wee robin at the top there. So we'll see them at the front, we we'll see them at the back as well. And then here are the dies towards the bottom. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to actually pop these ones over the top, just like that, al- along the actual pencil line. So you can also get, within these ones here, you get the arches as well that you could get, and then that just helps, and that enables you to create these arches. Of course, you'd have a bigger bit of cardstock. That's how the other ones are made. However, I just wanted to show you this one just a wee bit different. So all that I'm just going to do just now is, I'm just going to tape that one on, and then I'm just going to tape that one on just like that. So what I'm doing is these wee notches towards the bottom just here, I've just got them running parallel with my pencil line. So see there, see where you've got the pencil line? If I had scored this first, that means that score line would have been all the way through and you don't want to see that after. So just do a pencil line first and then you'll be good to go. Uh, wonderful. Uh, we've done that. Uh, Joe wants to know uh, on Friday, uh, Craig, and ask people how many countries they'd visited. Uh, Claire has been to 30 countries. Can you believe oh, that? Oh, wow. That's amazing, uh, including Egypt. Um, Angela said she was only going to, she was going to say only 16, but that, maybe that's a lot. Uh, 16 countries is absolutely uh, loads. And she lived in Peru when she was a kid. Uh, that sounds very, very exciting. Uh, loads of people talking about how many countries uh, they visit. At 11, here's is Debbie. At 8 for Sam. 20 uh, for Linda. You guys love to travel and get around by the sounds of it. They do, don't they? Yeah, I've quite not been uh, that far or that many anyway. Been at a few, but not that many. So what I've just done now, so that'll have it die cut. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to peel them off. So if I peel that one off and then I peel that one off. So if I take that off just carefully like so, then what I'm now just going to do is just where these pencil lines are at each side, just there and there, what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to use my scoreboard and then all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to score there 
and then there. That's going to cre uh, create the crease. So if we then turn that one around, just like that, then if we bring that to the fob, so you can now see we've got this sort of rocker effect that we can see just there, and then we can see there. Now this is what I mean by, if I had the actual score line all the way across, you would have seen it and you didn't really want that to happen. So if I then bring this back, and then I'm going to bring in my map, my stamping map. Now, when I'm doing it on Tour Centura Pearl, I would tend to just use a uh, actual uh, Boston powder, black and Boston powder or something like that. However, I'm just going to use our finesse uh, Noir Black just to show you. And if we take my stamping platform and we're going to bring in the stamps as well. So let's do the front of uh, the Robin first. So let's take... Mr. Robin, and then all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to place them in the middle. So you can put them straight into the middle of your stamping platform, or if you want it, just so that you felt a bit comfortable, you can line it up, and then just making sure that you know where that you're going, and then just stamp that on. So just press. That's then going to pick up the stamp ready for you to go. So if I then just stamp that, give that a wee bit of inking. And then we're going to bring this in. So we're going to layer this just over the top. Now, I think my head might just slightly go in the way as I try to uh, line, line that one up. So if I do it as quick as I can, there we go. So I'm quite happy with that. So I've just lined that one up. And now all that I'm just going to do is press. So if I press that into place, there we go. We can then see we've got the robin. You can see just there. So if I was to fold that back, we can see we've got the robin just uh, peeking out. Now what I'm going to do is it might slightly smudge just because it's on my Centura Peril, but I just want to show you this anyway. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to take the back of the robin and then we're just going to do that once again. So we're just going to pop him over there. And then, and then I'm just going to press that into place. And then just like I've done before, I'm just going to, so all that I'm doing is marrying up the outside edge of that stamp to the outside edge. And once again, I'm going to pop my head in the way just so that we can get it just nice and lined up so we can see where we're going. And then once I am happy, I'm then going to press and going to commit. And then that gives us the back of our robin just there. So if I turn that one around, we can see we've got the robin right at the front there, just peeking out. And then we've also got the back. There we go. We've got that back of the robin. So you can bring in any of your marker pens, your classic, your tri-blend pens, your sparkle pens, anything like that. Start to colour them in, which... I've done already. So all that uh, I done to do this was I taken the actual robin. So let's take a bit of our white smooth card. So let's bring that one in. So I'm just going to stamp this. So I'll just do this for the front of his face. You would do exactly the same for the back. So let's just press that. So there's two ways you can do it. Stamp it, then bring your die and then pop that over the top. And then once that's lined up, you would then actually just run that through the die cutting machine. So let's just do this one and then this will show you. Uh, loads of people are talking about how many countries they've been to now, Craig. I think we've found a winner though, you know. I think we can all go home, we might as well give up. Pam Craven, one of our regulars, one of our previous craft ambassadors, not only has she been, Craig, to 93 countries, she's also sailed all of the oceans. Can you believe that? Wow. That is amazing. Pam, you are a woman after my own heart. Wow. I love that. That's, that's, that's pretty awesome. That Ooh. is pretty good. 93. Like 93. Gosh. Wow. So, what I've done just there, so that's me. I just stamped it and then I have just die cut the actual robin. So what I'm then just going to do is if I just take my robin, so I'm just seeing, so I'll just use the larger ones for now, I don't have the small ones. So all that I would just do, let's just snip that excess away. So I would just then come along, just with my scissors or a craft knife, if you find that easier, and just follow the line. You can leave just a nice wee white line all the way around. You would do exactly the same when it comes to the back of the robin, and then you can colour him or her in. And then that's what then gives you that separate component just there. 
So if I then bring this one in, so this is the one that I've done earlier and I've just already popped that through the Xyron for the adhesive. So let's pop that one in. So let's bring the front and then that can then just go over the top. Of course, if you're doing this, you don't necessarily have to stamp it underneath like I've already done. That was to show you. So really lovely this off. technique as well, uh, Craig, because I think a lot of people would think that they had to work with white cardstock if they were going to use uh, these dies and stamps. So it's lovely to see what you've done here and use them with a different coloured cardstock. Well, that's uh, it. really refreshing. Yeah, that is it. That's just all about something a wee bit different. And then all that I'd just done was with take it, let's just do this one as well, just so that you can see. Taken one of the sentiments. So this one is Seasons Tweetings to You and Your. So you've got a selection of different ones. So let's pop that sentiment on. So I'm just going to pop that over the top. And then once again, I'm just going to use the Finesse uh, Alcohol Proof. Although I'm not adding any colour to it, because I've got it to hand, I'm just going to stamp that just onto a bit of our white smooth. Press that into place. And then that now gives us a nice wee sentiment just there. So you could then add a wee bit of detail all the way around. Then if I bring this one that I've done earlier, just on a bit of a darker colour card, you'll be able to see how we've just decorated it. Just added a wee bit of uh, a natural button with some twine. And then it's giving you a bit of a, a rocker. So it's a rocker peekaboo card that you can see. A rockaboo. A rockaboo. Yeah. There we go, a rockaboo. So just a, a wee bit different. So doing it from that way compared to what would kind of be the way that it intended within this one just here over the top that you can see just there but then you can't I just love that I just love that masking techniques where they're climbing on top of each other two there so two different ways in which you can actually use them really beautiful and so many different ways and you guys I know uh, some of these some of you already got your uh, hands on these already would love to see and hear about the way in which you're going to be using them really busy on that main collection uh, that we've got here and again because they're agile uh, edibles remember loads of different ways uh, that you're going to be able to use these so uh, you can see here uh, with Santa that's done over the edge there which is fantastic now you are going to get the arches as well and the great when you go for the main collection the great thing about the arches is that you're going to be able to create uh, those apertures in there which allow you to make these well even more playful which is fantastic you've got the reindeers in here as well and again uh, you can see how they are uh, climbing up on top of each other there you can do it masked this person has actually fussy cut those out and I think it's really great to add that dimension and again the frame there as well with them peeking back through is super super cute uh, you've got the snowman which is amazing which is this one just here as you can see I love this style of card i'm not sure that i've ever seen one of those before what are we calling that craig i think it goes that I way around i've seen a couple joe but i don't actually know what you would call it i really don't know <laughs> apparently my producer laura says it's like a little cupboard <laughs> you could maybe keep a gift wallet or something yeah i think it's really cute i really love what someone's done with that who's made that one Carolina Osachowska's made that one. Uh, fantastic. Uh, the next one we've got here is that penguin, which is brilliant. And again, that is a, I, I know this one, that's a tunnel card, that one that's been done with the penguin. Absolutely love that. Uh, this is a Christmas mouse, which is beautiful. Uh, remember, you're gonna get all of these when you're going for the big collection. You've got the Robin in there. I think this one might be my favorite card. This Z fold. Uh, absolutely adoring that and uh, now if you're going for that large collection not only are you going to get all of those dies which is brilliant what you're also going to get is the frames as well to enable you to create that this really is a uh, fantastic offer should be 65.91 however in the uk 41 pounds uh, down from 92 pounds to 72 dollars as well uh, 35 percent off which is absolutely brilliant now i can see a lot of you have got this in your basket at the moment i'll give you a chance to check out whilst you do that here's all the details of how you can watch and shop at the same time Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions and lol with us or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. 
We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. The details there of how you can watch the shop at the same time. Very, very easy uh, to do so. Now, shopping in your droves, you are for the Monday Mega Deal. The Monday Mega Deal, of course, a 24-hour deal. Uh, we only hold that price for 24 hours. Now, this deal is amazing because these are uh, some of your favorite foil stamp dies, uh, foil stamp and cut dies that we've ever bought to. They are radiating ones. Get these on half price is amazing value for money uh, because they should be 59.96 if you're in the UK, 79.80 if you're in the US. However, look, you can see you're paying half, I know, half of that uh, today. Very, very busy on these. So you've got uh, four different options in here. You can just use it as is, like this here, uh, and just uh, foil it. However, when you foil it and you cut it, you get this wonderful aperture uh, that comes out of them. You can, of course, piece that back together if you so wish to. Uh, you've then got this one here, which is your uh, superstar. You've got Dream with the Schmetterlings, uh, and you've also got, finally, this one here, which is your Shine Bright. Craig, why are these ones? These ones are always so busy, aren't they? Whenever we bring these to you, uh, why are these ones specifically some of the, our viewers' most favourite, do you think? I think it's because you can actually make a full card front within one pass. However, you get the ability to actually foil the small sentiment that comes with it, but then you also get a coordinated die that actually matches. And if you're not too sure what I mean, I'm actually going to show you because I did say, I mean, please come and put the foil press on. We've got these foil uh, sentiment stamps. And it'll be really good to actually show them. And that's what we're going to do because we know I love the foil press. So, what we're going to do, I've already got my foil press all ready to go, and then this one that uh, George just showed you a moment ago, we're going to use the uh, Be Happy. So what I'm going to do is I've already got this set to 30 seconds, so I'm just going to pop mine over the top, and then what I'm just going to do is press start. So then that's just obviously going to count down. I've got the heat all ready to go on the lowest heat, and we're just going to do that countdown. So for any other, uh, you know, for more information, anything like that, hints and dips, head across to our YouTube, loads on there. Uh, all about the foil press, but this is just to show you how you can actually use if these ones. If you need a great deal on the foil press as well, second chance Sunday. Uh, we're going to repeat the offer on Sunday uh, where you get the 200 bonus points on the foil press machine. And also, Craig, big news, all the foils are back in stock. Amazing, oh, I know I've been waiting on them. So now this is just beep to say I'm ready. So what I'm then just I'm going to do ready. is, is uh, I can hear it? Leanne in my head when we say that. <laughs> so that's ready to go. So I've just taken a foil. So I think this one is the gold shimmer. So I'm just going to place that on, shiny side facing down. Then what I'm going to do is bring in my black cardstock. So I'm going to place that over the top. And then we're just going to bring in our actual plate, our carbon plate. We're going to slide that one out, so slide it straight out. And then we're just going to run that one through the Gemini Junior. So that's going to go through as well. So what that's going to do is then all that nice detail within that one, we're going to then foil. However, you can use the sentiment from this one and the sentiment of one of the other ones and mix and match. So if we take that off and remove that, so if I peel that one off, then if I then bring this one in for you, and if I peel Ooh. that one off, now look at that. So that is our gold shimmer, gold shimmer onto our black. So you can see just there. And then what you can then just do is uh, you could then come along and then the wee sentiment that you've got within this one, be happy. You can also foil that one and then you can die cut it using this one and then what we can do is put them together and I think I think if we've got a bit of time that I can do it please, please. I reckon yes. we have yes. yeah so you Let's die cut them it. through the Gemini using a Gemini sandwich or you'd cut it at the same time using your foil press? I cut it separately okay so what we can do for this one let's just use just a wee bit of white so what I'm then just going to do is take that one. Now, obviously, for the, the times and everything, you know, do refer to the matrix. Obviously, there's more um, actual Crafters that, TV the coming Keanu up Reeves over time. Film. What one's that? The Keanu Reeves film, The Matrix. The Matrix. You refer to that? I've never seen that film. Do you know that? Me neither. Never seen it. We'd be useless if we had to refer to that. Because I know, we've, eh? we've never seen it. So. so what I'm just doing is you can see the difference in size between that one that we've just done and then this wee sentiment. So all we need is this wee sentiment really only needs a few seconds. I've got it to seven. I'd actually even just say five. Uh, that's all that we'd need. 
it's beeped to say that we're ready to go. So all that I'm just going to do is pop that sentiment on there. And then once again, I do like to put my carbon plate over the top and then we're just going to press start. So that's going to be enough just to heat up and then if we bring this uh, white one, and then let's just take that one off, place that on, and then we're going to place that one on, and we're going to run that through. So again, sliding it out, and then we're just going to run that one through. So if I move that one out the way just for the time being. I finally found out what that card was called, Craig. It is called a Dutch door card. Uh, it's a Dutch fold card. Some people are saying it's called a double Dutch fold. So Right, OK. Are. Now we all know. Now we all know. So then if I peel that one off, so again, I have just used uh, gold for both simply because I had that just to hand. So we've now foiled that. So that's our white card, but that could obviously be black card, mirror card, matte card, any card like that. So then what I'm going to do is let's bring in our wee die. So I'm then just going to straighten that one up. So if I take a piece of our low tack tape, so we're just wanting a wee bit just to hold it into place. So let's place that one over the top and we're going to run this one through. So if we take our plates, so we can place that one on. So this one now is just a normal wafer thin die. So it's just the plastic shim, magnetic and top cutting plate. So we're then just going to run that one through. So that's now going to cut out that detail on uh, the outside of that sentiment. So as that comes out, we can then move all them out of the way. So this, uh, this idea can work for all the other ones that are also there. So if we bring that one out and then we can then place that on, let's bring in a foam pad. However, before I actually stick that one on, what you could have done is instead die cut the centre of that one. So then you're going to have your aperture within the middle and then you could place that over the top so then you're actually looking into the sentiment on this occasion what we're going to do is we're just going to lift it up so we've got the sentiment on the top and now that could be the front of a card straight on a card maybe of course a bit of matting and layering you know maybe a wee uh, gold board or something like that and then there is a nice wee card front could maybe even be a tag or anything like that so many different things that you can do with them Oh, absolutely a beautiful, and it all starts with you getting it. Remember, it's the Monday mega deal. You're going to get all four of those die collections. 28.77 or 38.30 is your price. Uh, now, Pamela says, Joe, not only have I been to those countries, but I've crafted on board the cruise ships whilst travelling with my Gemini Go. So a crafty cruise, and I am your woman. Uh, and Cindy Sue says, ooh, someone who can help support Joe outline a CC cruise option to Sarah. Let's go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, isn't it? Crafters, assemble. That's kind of what it feels. It was what it feels a lot like. I think you're going to take it into your own hands uh, at this rate if uh, that's um, if that's the way it goes. Uh, Julie's please. The Christmas edibles have just arrived. And um, also, uh, lots of you talking about The Matrix. Um, oh, Jan can't get over the fact we haven't seen The Matrix. I was going to say The Matrix is actually the thing within the foil press, but she's just more alarmed um, that we uh, haven't... Um that we haven't heard seen the matrix maybe we need to add it to the list top gun uh, the matrix i've never seen goodfellas either you know no i've not uh, never seen goodfellas uh, is that the one that uh, don corleone's in goodfellas or is that a different one the godfather that's the other one i haven't seen goodfellas has that got the burglar from home alone and home alone 2 yes joe, <laughs> i think joe he's got a real pesci. name joe pesci, joe pesci. Uh, yeah, yeah. It is. right let's just take a moment it's getting very very busy i want to just uh, recap some of the things that you've seen already in this show 28.77 or 38.30 uh, to get yourself all four of those foil stamp and cut dies uh, they are beautiful some of our absolute favorites there uh, make sure you get those while they're on a half price deal uh, creator cards is where we started it was the interchangeable uh, christmas frame die collection 50 percent of that stock has sold out and gone and that is people that have checked out their baskets i can see a lot of you have got some elements of this collection or the whole collection uh sat in your basket so don't forget to check that out 79.97 or 105.57 if you are in the US. All oh, right, the peekaboos, very, very busy here as I knew they would be. Considering the value here, £41 or $75, you're getting eight stamp and die sets and you're getting those frame dies in there as well. 40% of the big stock of this has gone. It was a very recent launch 
uh, available, uh, that we made available here at Crafters TV in individually. Uh, they are available to you as well, $6.99 or $9.95. And they're two for $11 or $17 if you wanted to just stock up on the individual. You'll come back and buy them all in the end. You wait, uh, but $6.99 or $9.95 individually. Now, uh, double-sided dies. Double-sided dies are a, uh, a patented product that we bring you here at Crafts Companion. Uh, you will not find them anywhere else. And they are creator card dies, which is fantastic because that means a big die that you can do in one pass, double-sided. So it means they're doing double the amount of work as a regular die, double the metal as well. Uh, it means you can make, not only can you create a card in one pass, you can create a really, really fabulous card in just one pass. Let me just uh, recap uh, what you're getting in here. So you're getting, firstly, the Cherry Blossom, which is this one here, just beautiful. The Cherry Blossom, uh, way out in the lead as well on the individuals. Again, it's brilliant because what you've got is you've got that background layer and that top layer there, uh, which are just fantastic. Uh, we've also then got uh, the lily for you in here, which is just beautiful. I love this has been done with some acetate, which is a lovely way to use it. We've got a, a very purple peony in this one just here, which is beautiful. We've got the rose. And again, all of these just done in one pass and then just matted and layered together. There's a tulip in here for you. And finally, uh, last but by no means least, uh, we've got a Z-Fold card here with those water lilies there. Cherry Blossom way out in front uh, at the moment. Also very busy uh, on the big collection. Remember, you get the card stock included as well if you're going for the big collection. £110 or $120 means uh, nearly all of you are going to get free personal packaging or free shipping and handling. Uh, Club Inspire members, Platinum members in the UK, you'll save an extra £22. Uh, Club Inspire members in the US that are Platinum would save £24, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, very recently launched here. What I love about these, Craig, I don't know if you feel the same, is they're not really, well, they're, a, they're not really occasion specific in any way. Like you could give this card for pretty much any occasion, I'd say, depending on the colours that you choose to make it up with. Absolutely, yeah, you're spot on there. That's a good thing about them is they really are. It doesn't shout out, you know, birthday, Christmas, anniversary. It doesn't shout out anything like that. Of course, they can be used for them, but maybe just to let someone uh, know that you're thinking of them. You know, if you have to send them a wee sympathy card, anything like that, it's nice just to have a wee bit of detail because that's the thing with cards like that. You want them to know that they're actually handmade, but of course, you don't want a lot of detail on them. And then when it comes to these ones that we're just about to show you with the double-sided ones, that does that. It ticks that box and so many. So, well, we'll crack straight on and let's show you. Maybe shouldn't have favourites, but kind of got one. We all know by now that without, other than the foil press, the uh, double sided dies, I absolutely adore. Actually, we're all here at Crafters Companion. So, what I'm then just going to do is I've just got my uh, two cutting plates. So, you're going to have these uh, when you've got obviously your uh, Gemini or your Gemini Junior. You will need your uh, actual uh, really tough, sturdy plate. So, these you will need for your double sided dies. So, you've got your A5 ones, or of course, you know, we do do A4 ones as well if you've got the large ones. So we've got them there. So what I've just done is I've just got a couple of bits of card together and I just wanted to show you. So we've got a bit of black and a bit of white. So what I'm just going to do, so let's just bring in our base cutting plate with our uh, first uh, plate over the bottom. You can see it's got Gemini on them as well. So just like you would with your normal cutting plates, just flip and rotate as well and then that will uh, enable them to last a long, long time. However, these will last such, such a long time. Um, I, we also <laughs> need to say uh, a big congratulations to Sarah for completing her half marathon at the weekend and raising over £5,000 for charity uh, in the process. How amazing was that? What I would also say is, did you see the rain on Saturday, Craig? I did indeed. Oh mm -hmm. my. Uh, it was like that new Lady Gaga song, wasn't it? It was absolutely piddling it down. So much so I came through the, the uh, rain on the way back from the coast and I, not only did I nearly aquaplane, but I actually almost stopped on the motorway. It was raining so hard. And Sarah ran through that. Can you imagine? No. It's quite unbelievable, isn't it? I couldn't even walk through it, never mind run through it. <laughs> I'd have stopped. Hats I'd have definitely, I'd have ended up hiding in a bus stop, I think. But massive congratulations. Uh, that was Cindy Sue saying congratulations to the boss. So I'll be back here in the morning uh, with John Scott, if you want to catch her then for softer side. And then we're back, aren't we, tomorrow, Craig, for the launch party, which will be fun. We are 
as well. Another one that's uh, been a while since I've done one is Launch Party. You know, I think it's fair to say all the ones this week is uh, something that I've not done for quite a while. I'm looking forward to that one. Certainly even more so now that we just found that uh, the uh, Rose Gold collection has been added on. Ooh. So that's going to be fun. I did think, do you know what? You know, it's been such a great day here, but I thought I'm going to go home tonight and put my feet up. I don't know. I might have to have a wee, wee play ready for tomorrow. Who knows? Ooh. But... So what we'll do is let's show you the double-sided dies with these ones here. So what I've done already is I've got one side. So I've got that so it's going to cut into the black. So that's then going to go on like that. Now it actually cuts the frame on them, hence the name frame. So then what I'm going to do is I'm then going to pop our white layer over the top and then we're going to then bring in our uh, next plate. Now, what I like to do, and it's just what I like to do when it comes to our double-sided die, certainly with any that's got a uh, large platform or that, I always like just to add in my metal shim. Just that just gives uh, that wee bit more uh, pressure in between and then that just helps to uh, give all those areas just that real crisp cut. So what we're going to do is that comes out. So what that's going to do is because it's double-sided, so you'll see me die cutting earlier on, so it's just one-sided. Now we've obviously got the, the patent to actually have uh, the double-sided so you ones. Never, you'd never put the metal shim on the inside of the sandwich then, Craig? Always on the outside no. with the double-sided? Always on the outside, absolutely. Because if you think then is you're then actually going to be cutting into that metal shim. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you cut into this one. All this is doing, it's just giving that wee bit extra shim uh, just inside there. You don't want too much, but just that wee bit, um, that wee bit extra. So what I'm then just going to do is taking these away, and then if I move all that out of the way, so peel that one off. And again, like earlier, you can see it's like that pencil line. You can see that certainly when it comes to the white. Look at that. That just lets you see that's actually die cut just beautifully. Then I'm just going to peel these ones off. Now you'll able to see straight away that they actually already all just fall out. So what I'm then going to do is let's just take a tool and then I'm just going to pour these out, I'm going to do it as quick as I can because I don't have one that's already um, out. However, as you can see, they all just come out just beautifully. Now what you can do is we're going to lay this onto the black one in a moment and that's going to create a bit of a, a shadow or a silhouette. However, you could add some of your paper piece and you can create some extra dimension, some extra shadowing why not do some colouring onto some other cardstock? I was just thinking, Greg, as well, you know, we, we talk about cu cutting paper and card a lot of time with our double-sided dies. Will these cut things like vellum and acetate and all those other things that we expect our regular-sided dies to, to cut? So what you'll find, because there's a lot of detail within these ones, so yeah, things like, you know, your vellum or that, that would die cut. What I would say is with your acetate might be a wee bit harder. What you need to think as well is because you're going to be layering them on top of each other, so you want to see the difference. And what I'm going mm. to do is, I'll show you that in a minute by what I mean. You want to see, for instance, the white above the black. If you use acetate, it's just going to look like nothing. You're not going to see it because it's see-through. But yeah, things like your acetate, your craft card, your black card, your mirror card, mirror card, all these sorts of card stocks, absolutely, that's going to work just fine. So then what I'm just going to do is just take the black. So you do find that there's some wee release holes. You may be tempted, like I do, and um, you shouldn't, but you might find what you'll sometimes do with oh, other dyes, Craig, no. you will then give it a wee tap on the side just to get all these extras out. One, don't do it. You'll Two, be in the low court if you don't do, that. do it with these ones because they're double sided. So what you're going to do is you're going to damage them. So don't give it a tap. Just uh, use your die release tool or just spend a little time. I personally find it quite therapeutic to actually poke them all out. Again, you can give it a bit of a massage and you can even see Ooh, then massage. all these wee bits. Actually, yeah, no, see now that I've said that one. <gasps> yeah, could go with that. Here we go. <laughs> Good go with it, massage. <laughs> oh, they've all fallen <laughs> out suddenly. Uh, it obviously works. Um, lots of you, I know lots of you have loved your uh, double-sided dies and you use them all the time, but I know there's a lot of you that haven't made the leap yet and haven't started mm -hmm. crafting with our double-sided dies. I'd love to know uh, if you've got any questions whatsoever about them, what's, what's holding you back? Because I think, Craig, it's one of those things, isn't it? Once you make the leap and you try them for the first time, you see how much work they do in just one pass, you'll not want to go back. 
Exactly, that's it. Now, we've got dies which we would call like creator card dies where one pass through and uh, they die cut all the detail and they look great and they're some of my favourites. However, with these ones, it's the same kind of concept but because they're double sided and they layer on top of each other, it actually creates the shadow effect. So if I then, let's bring in, let's bring in actually the red. So hopefully you can see, even then you can't see it. What about, it was that a bit better? So there we go, we can see that there. So if I've got my black and then I've got my white and I don't know if you can kind of see there, see how there's a different detail. So in here you've got fuller areas just here. Here we've got a lot more that are actually die cut out. So if you then pop that on, can you see now that actually starts to give you the shadowing effect on the background. So even just down to this rose just there, see how that just really pops out all of that detail just comes to life. That's why I really wanted to use the black and white because it really shows off. So what I'm then going to do, if you've got your dotty tape runner, you could be using that. I've just got this uh, nice wee spray booth that I uh, found underneath. <laughs> so what I'm then just going to do is I'm going to take just again our permanent uh, spray. So this one is our stick and spray. And then I'm just going to give that some short, short sharp bursts. And then once I know that that has got a good coverage, I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to hold off just for a, just for a few seconds just to let that evaporate. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back along and I'm just going to, you can layer the flowers on top of each other or you can actually layer the frame up if you so wish. So we can then bring this one in. This is a kind of uh, die or card. If you were to make it into a shaker card, if you've maybe got some elements on the background, some glitter, some sequins, anything like that, you can be uh, using that and doing that. I've got a few bits just needing just to pop out just there. So if I pop them out, and then what I'm just going to do is let's take, I did, here we go, we had that one just here. So I've got just a bit of a card blank, so A5 card blank. So let's take, the dies are actually four by six. So let's go five by six. Lynn Harvey's no, we'll absolutely killing me tonight, uh, Craig, in the comments. Her <laughs> son has just treated her to Papa John's pizza for dinner this <gasps> evening, and it's just arrived. It smells so yummy. Lynn, we're, it's Monday, we're trying so hard to be good. Uh, and I'm absolutely ravenous this evening as well. Uh, we're trying Delicious. to be good. Are we oh, trying to I, be good? I am trying Are we to, trying I'm, to be good? I am I'm not. trying to be good. Craig is one of those people that can eat, you know, anything, absolutely anything he wants and just doesn't really put any weight on. No. Nope. He has to really work hard at putting weight on. No. Nope. I can safely tell you, I never have, have ever known how that feels, Craig. Yeah, it's uh, tr tr and I know so many are going to laugh and it, it's absolutely fine to laugh, you know, I can all have a laugh and a joke about it, but as many know, you know, a lot of mine is down to health reasons, you know, that I can eat and eat and not put any weight on, mm. you know, but it is in that kind of way, it is quite good, I don't have that worry of putting the weight on, not that I would really worry, but, so what I've just done is I've just chopped that uh, card blank just down there, so we've done that to uh, five by seven, so what I'm then just going to do is once again, let's just use our tape runner, so we're just going to pop that onto the back, have you had the Mars bar cake, Craig? I had a wee oh. bit just before we went Tracy live. Tracy knows now, bless her. Tracy is our mm -hmm. floor manager, SARPO coordinator. She is a feeder. If you look up feeder in the dictionary, it says, please also see Tracy, because <laughs> she's a proper feeder. Uh, and she knows when she comes in, she says to me, oh, you're being good today, or you're not being good. And I, I say, oh, I'm being good. And she's like, okay. And she respects my wishes and doesn't try and peddle her cake to me. But it is delicious. Craig's had some. Laura said that she's had some as well, and it is, mm -hmm. ooh, it's good apparently. Yeah, and I'm not a big fan of milk chocolate. I prefer white chocolate. So for me saying that it tastes really nice, you know, you know what it must do then. So you're yeah, a bit yeah. of a feeder as well, though. Craig. I, yeah, I, well, yeah, I am. You know, it's all about the giving. You know, if I make stuff for myself, you know, I do like to dish it out. It doesn't always last that long, but you know, I do try. <laughs> so what I've just done, they can see a moment ago. So I just layered that one over the top. So once again, I'm just going to just add a bit of a spray of adhesive onto the back. And we shall hold on just a wee second for that to evaporate. And then we're just going to layer this over the top. So I've just popped some of that red satin cardstock just onto my card black. Let's make sure I have got that open in the right way, which I have done. So then what I can just do is then I'm just going to place that just over the top. 
So there we go. <laughs> just, just going to Charlotte that on YouTube says she's had to look at food to gain weight, Craig. Yeah, well, I hear that a lot by people. And, you know, I just need to look at food and I still lose it. You know, it's one of those things. I mean, talk about rubbing it in, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm jealous and envious of those that find it easy to put on weight. We could swap just for a little bit, Craig. I, I find it easy to lose it. You'd find it easy to gain it. And then we can, you know, then we can go back That's to be normal idea. again. Uh, that card is absolutely beautiful, Craig. It really, really is. And you know what I love about these is that they are so elegant and classy, the cards you get from these. They really, really are. So what you can then do is you can leave it at that if you so wish. However, uh, we've got our fancy fonts as well. Ooh. So these are going to be great where you can actually incorporate these ones. So straight away, if you've seen any of um, my lives or videos that I've done uh, at home, then you know, always know that it's always the loved one that I went to. I don't know if it's about the size and the shape. I, I just find this is a really nice one just to pop within the middle. So what I'm then just going to do is if I bring in my other plates in again. If you want the fancy fonts, Craig, uh, you'll need to go back to the earlier show. So it was in right. the Masterclass show this morning. That's where you'll find uh, that collection. And they were very, very busy in the earlier show. And these are great, Craig, aren't they? Because they're really versatile versatile these again lots that you can do uh, with these ones oh there really is the fact is because you've got the actual die for the one word on its own so lots of the things that i make i actually just use the the word from the die on its own however what you also get so if i show you this one so we've got the love so we've got that die now if i bring this one in you've got all these different words in stamp form so what you can then do is make your reverses or your own sentiments. So you've got things as uh, is a beautiful thing. So you could die cut the word love and then stamp is a beautiful thing. Or you could die cut the word love or you and then you can stamp is in the air. All these different ones as well that you've got mix and matches. So your wee sentiments are a nice wee sentiment as well. And that's how they all work along the same line. Nothing stopping you from using the words on the stamp set from one of the other sets with the love, so you can mix and match them as well. They all work beautifully. How fantastic. So, I'm very busy on those, Craig. I'm not surprised, because they really, really are such a good uh, die set to actually pop in. So what I'm then just going to do is, I've just popped that on. I've just taken a bit of silver card, silver glitter card. The reason I used the silver is just so they can kind of see it against the background. And then all that I'm just going to do is I press pause and I'm reversing. The joyous thing about, obviously, having our Gemini. The reason I've done that is just as well because it's glitter card, just to make sure that it actually do, does uh, die cut just perfectly, kind of gives it a double cut. So if we can then take these ones off and then we can then take that out. Now, if you can see just there, that has just die cut beautifully and just look at that font. I absolutely love that font. Now Great, you can come along and do a bit of a shadow effect. It's great because it's a brush lettering, but it's really legible, Craig. Sometimes you, it's really difficult to see what things actually actually say. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but sometimes no. I find myself, people have written something, and I'm thinking, what is that meant to say? <laughs> you're, you're right. There are some fonts that you can get that are actually, some of them can be unreadable. So what I've just done this time, just to make sure that that silver just stands out that wee bit more and it doesn't fall into the background, I'm just going to do a wee bit of a shadow effect. And then that just makes it a bit prominent to the front. So let's take that one out. So let's take this one and then we're just going to pop this one out like that. So you could even, if you wanted to, leave it just white, but of course you don't want that to kind of fall into the background. So all that I'm just going to do is let's just bring, let's just use our spray again. Hey, so you're really loving this spray booth, that's You sure. are loving the sprays I am the spray loving booth, the spray booth. Uh, US viewers, a lot of our sprays are available through HSN. Uh, I know we can't ship directly to you uh, in the US for some of these sprays, but HSN is your best way uh, to go if you want to get your hands on them. So all that I'm just doing is I've taken that one. So I'm just going to, as if I'm placing direct over the top, and then I just like to pull down slightly to the bottom right, and then I'm just going to press, and then that's going to create the actual uh, shape. So if I then press that one on like that, so then that gives us the love. So you can see just there how that works really well. And then once again, let's just bring in our spray booth. And then we're just going to give that short, sharp blasts. And then we're just going to pop that over the top. And then we've made a really nice uh, card using the actual uh, double-sided dies. But then we've also brought in the words. 
I'm just going to leave it with love. However, you can then stamp the actual uh, sentiment to go with it. And we can see just there, just by adding that white, it just makes that uh, word love just stand out just that slight bit more for you to actually see within these ones here. So it's really fun and I just love that difference between uh, the black, white and even that bit of red right in the background. Really looks brilliant, uh, Craig, that one's so beautiful. Uh, Heather says, Craig, that she's a bit intimidated by the Gemini machine, all the different sandwich plate combinations. That's why she hasn't yet gone uh, for our double-sided dies. What's the best place to go and get some sort of information when it comes about plate sandwiches and stuff? What would your recommendation be? Well, when you get the Gemini, it comes in with a wee leaflet anyway, just to let you know, obviously, the basic configurations. We've got lots more information across on uh, our Crafters Companion website, whether it's UK, uh, US or EU. Or what you can just do, again, go into YouTube. Or don't forget, we're all, including yourself, we're all on Facebook, we're on social media. Trust me, I'm never off it. Um, so if you've got any questions or that, then just uh, write onto our walls and we will help you. And if it's maybe something I'm not too sure, of you might ask me maybe uh, a question that you know uh, the actual queen of color and when it comes to is fiona she might know then uh, we'll give them a shout and just say got a question can you give us a hand so don't be scared of when it comes to actual like uh, platforms and that what you will find is 85 percent of the time you will tend to use the same configuration when it comes to die cutting so uh, you know don't be scared just obviously uh, take that leap and we're here if you need any help Fantastic. Always good to know. Wendy says she's just bitten the bullet and bought uh, her first double-sided die. Uh, the stars and the cutting plates, probably uh, she's going to uh, be using those, which is great. Um, going to get all of these as I can't decide, says Kerry. I think you're not alone there. I think that's a, a, a tremendous idea. Uh, Anne's got a parcel being delivered today. She is so happy. Uh, about that um, uh, and and saying it will be the two flowers with the plates that she ordered uh, recently right I want to run you through uh, this floral collection once again because there is absolutely uh, loads of craftability with these when you think about cutting them and putting them over your backgrounds if you've got things like your sparkle pens the backgrounds that you could create with your sparkle pens and have them uh, these masked over the front of them would be absolutely beautiful that is your cherry blossom uh, you've also got here the lily, which I just think is beautiful. I think you've got some closed lilies and some open lilies on there too, both examples, which is fantastic. Uh, you've then got the peony here, that beautiful purple peony this has been done. And remember, you can colour these up uh, exactly how you want to. It is completely up to you. That rose as well, really, really beautiful. Such a lovely sort of linear design on all of these. You've then got the tulip, which is this one here. Looks really quite uh, stunning, quite uh, shocking over the black card, but a really, really lovely way of doing that. And then you've got, of course, here the water lilies too, uh, which are a little bit more unusual. Uh, £110 if you're in the UK to get these. $120 if you're in the US. And remember, they are double-sided dies. So you've got cutting plates or cutting elements, not only on the front of the die, but also on the back of the die too. And that is what really makes this amazing because our creator cards, which are a one pass wonder, I always say, because you pass it through once, it gives you something, it's a card ready to go. It's exactly the same for these, but because they're double sided, it means double the detail. In one pass, you're getting a mat and a layer uh, to allow you to create something that's got depth and dimension and is really, really interesting. Uh, loads of you absolutely loving these. Um, oh, a lot of people talking about being hungry for pizza now. I'm always hungry for pizza, June. Really. You know, uh, any day of the week, any time of the day, there is not a point in my life, I don't think, that I can pin down or think of where I couldn't eat a pizza. It's just the best food in the world. I think it really, really is. Um, <laughs> Lynn says, Joe, my son is the same as Craig. He eats and eats and eats and he's so slim like his dad. But for me, just, <laughs> just smelling this pizza, I've probably put on a couple of pounds. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to look at food. There it goes. Uh, loads of you um, say, oh, when we're done here, I'm going to cook breakfast, eggs and ham with cheese. Yummy. Julia must, Julie must be on the West Coast. Then. Shall I consult? Let me just consult my clocks. Uh, so uh, on the West Coast, uh, it's still uh, only half past nine in the morning. Perfect uh, time for a cook breakfast, I should say. Uh, Evelyn's gone for the water lily. Reminds her of Monet. I have to agree with you there. Um... Oh, Carleen was asking about your ring, Craig, the uh, detailing on your ring. She said she's got one very similar. Sure. I got that from my mum and stepdad. I'm not sure if it was maybe like my 21st, I think. And what is my the 21st? detail on it? Do you know? My initial. Well, my initial 
at the uh, top just here, CL, and then it's just a bit of uh, swirly detail ah, just there. Yeah. I like it. I like mm. it a lot. So, yeah, it's very nice. Thank you so much. Yes. Right. Well, we have another replay with the uh, double-sided dies again. and show you what we can come up with, these ones. So, what we have got is the uh, Lily Window. So, what we're just going to do is I've taken a bit of Centura Pearl and White again. So, with this one here, the, or the last one we've gone for, you know, a very darker, monochromatic with the red look to it. This time, a bit more of a spring-like look for this one. So, what I'm then just going to do, once again, it's just our base cut and play, and then it is our uh, base one for our double-sided dies. So, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put our uh, yellow Centura Pearl. So, all that you just want to do is you just want to have a wee look. So so the main background I want to have yellow, which is going to go down that way. And then what I want to do is all that detail on the top I want to have is in white. So we're going to place that over the top. So then once again, we're going to place our top plate. And then I do like to just add uh, my uh, metal shim. Now, I don't do this for all my double-sided dies. It's just for some of the larger ones. It's got a bit more detail within them. It just actually just helps that wee bit more. So now that we're doing that layer, and yeah, we're just using the cardstock. However, as I said earlier on, you could maybe do the base layer with pattern paper, or, and then you can use the top layer, just uh, any of your normal uh, white cardstock, anything like that. Just have a wee play with it in your collection and see. So if we take these all away, and then we can then start to show you how all of these ones, show you within that one, so again, they all just fall out just perfectly. So to get this one, so to get the two of them, can you imagine if you have uh, two dies? That's what you would uh, do uh, traditionally, and usually you would have two dies to create that. This time, what you've got within the double-sided dies that you'll only get with us is the fact is you've now got one die, but you can actually get the two layers all in one. So let's just poke all of these out. And then what another good way of doing them as well, of course, is if you like to do anything when it comes to acetate with your uh, stained glass, or what you can also do is use your double-sided adhesive sheets, pop them onto the back, then you can sprinkle glitter through them. You can imagine, you know, glitter just uh, sprinkling away through all of these would look quite oh, stunning. Love a bit of glitter, Craig. We do indeed. You uh, do Sally indeed. says, Joe, if you get an indoor cycle machine, you could pedal, binge watch box sets and eat fudge at the same time <laughs> all day. I mean, what a life uh, that is. Robin says, if you take your weight and multiply it by 12, this will give you your calorie intake to hit for the day. Go lower to lose or higher to gain. I know how to lose weight, Robin. Uh, <laughs> believe me, that is not the battle. Knowing what to do is not the issue here at all. I think it's the willpower uh, is the thing. Pizza and fudge. If you live in a world, mm. how cruel of, to live in a world that has pizza and fudge in and need to try and lose weight at the same time. Never going to happen, Craig. Never going to happen. No, no, I do like pizza. I do love pizza. What's your favourite pizza? Oh, just, uh, I like a, um, so I see it depends, right? You've got me started now, Craig, right? Because there's two <laughs> different types of pizza. You've got like, you've got like, Regular Sorry, pizza. Asked. Sorry, you've got regular pizza, which is like your Domino's, your Pizza Hut, you know, thick Americanized pizza. And then you've got Italian pizza, like Neapolitan pizza, thin, crispy. And to me, they're two different things. They're like two totally different food groups. So which one would you like to know? Well, <laughs> all that I'm going to say, now you might hate me for this one. I'm not actually a big fan of Domino's. Oh, that's no. not the view of Crafters Companion of their shareholders, I, by the way. I, uh, but no, Laura, producer Laura, not really keen on Domino's. I got one... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Says it may, yeah. <laughs> yeah, might not want you to say that, Laura. Um, you can I, guess what it does to Laura, is what I I'm got, saying, I by got the reactions. One, I got one at the start of going into isolation. Do you know something? It just reminded me, wasn't that... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah it does, actually, Laura, yeah. Absolutely. So not, but thin and crispy Italian pizza then, is that the way forward for uh, you? I, I do like thin and crispy. I do yeah. like thin and crispy. But, you know, proper cooked base, nice and crispy. Mm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh-huh. Mm, I was talking about, as a little <laughs> private, are you talking, I mean, yeah, I may as well go. Just hold, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, but if it was, a, if it was a, like a, a, a American pizza, uh, pepperoni, uh, mushrooms, onions, ground beef would probably be the way forward. If it was a uh, an Italian pizza, few different options here. I quite like it with like aubergine, chili, and mascarpone is quite nice. Failing that, a margarita, 
a part one with parma ham on it or you know that lovely spicy soft sausage you can get called naduja which is like a spicy soft sausage that smothered smother that all over it uh, and then that's also one of my favorites too so i'm really glad you asked uh, craig I'm sorry, I asked that Anyway, so uh, I just do like a pepperoni pizza, you know, I'm not pussy that way. Mm -hmm. So what we've just got on these ones here, so we can see the two effects now. So if I bring that one in, so you can see that one side, that actual, the double-sided die. So if I turn that around for you, so even on its own, that one on its own, now look at all that fine detail, that fine detail, it's a bit like your um, peel-offs in that effect. If you've got any, actually some of these sheets, that would look good. And then we've got on this one here, a bit more of the detail on this one just here, which is then just going to uh, pop through in a moment once we've actually layered them up. So again, each of them, you can be using them on their own, but of course they work perfectly in conjunction with each other. So let's just uh, bring in my spray booth and then we're just going to layer the white one on top of the yellow. So it's the Centura Pearl yellow that we've used used. Pop that one out. So if we just add some on just there and then what we can do is start to assemble this one. So again with these ones like you've seen with the last one as well as this one just here what you will then find is you don't need to do much to them at all. So I'm just going to line that up, layer that one up and we can see straight away how that just comes to life. So if I just layer that one up and then let's just poke that one out just there so let's just press that one into place now that we can see we've now got look at that so actually even with all that detail in the back right you know you can still see that just standing out so then what i'm just going to do is if i have got uh, I was just seeing if I had to have a piece of acetate to hand, which I don't think I do. So we'll just use cardstock for this one. So what you can do as well, use in even with the sprays, because that would work well. You could uh, stick this onto acetate. If you've actually seen my both my Instagram and Facebook the other day, I actually made a card with the rose and I stuck it onto acetate. So the acetate was the card blank. So you can do all these different things. So what I'm going to do is the image is actually uh, four by six so let's go four and a quarter by six and a quarter so I want two of these so four and a quarter and six and a quarter and then all that I'm just going to do is if I bring in my score tool so just maybe even just an inch from the top I'm just going to score that and then what I'm going to do is bring in our tape runner and we can run that one over the top. So if I then just start to match that one up and then what I'm going to do is press that into place. Now that then gives us our top fold uh, card blank that we can see just there. Then what I'm going to do is let's bring this one in, let's bring the box in. And we're going to give that bit of a spray. I oh, thought you said Brenda the Box then. That's her name. <laughs> That's the name of the spray booth. It's called Brenda. We've finally named it. Brenda the Box. I thought you said I'm going to bring the box in. I thought you said Brenda the Box in. Oh, so I was right. like, Brenda the Box? Of course, that's the perfect name, so we're not going to call it the spray. Well, It's yeah. all about, I'm going to pop it in Brenda and give it a spray. That's what we'll say from now on. <laughs> yeah, could be. It's a name. It's a name for it. Then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to pick out just one of the fancy fonts, but I'm just going to take um, one of them. So if we just take for everything, so if we take, will we go up for everything or, no, let's do special. No, let's just do just a note to say, because um, I like that one. And then just take my stamping platform and then we're just going to press that on into place. Let's take, we'll just use the Noir Black. And we're just going to stamp that one on. I've just got just a wee bit of our uh, white smooth card. So I'm just going to stamp that onto the bottom. And I am just doing this by eye. So if I stamp that one, and then what I'm just going to do is now actually with this one here, uh, just a note to say, eye. You, uh, you don't necessarily have to have I have, have you got no, no idea, idea what, what you're talking, talking about. about. Oh, you've not been watching our shows with Leanne. She always does things 
Bye, aye. <laughs> she was you be a lady that used to be a guest apparently on uh, Crate and Crafts, and she also so used to say she was from Yorkshire, and she used to talk about doing it by eye. eye. But yeah. and so Leanne now calls her by eye Sue. But we can't talk about doing it by eye without saying it as by eye Sue would. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so Craig is thinking, what on earth has happened in this place? In the third, what have I come home to <laughs> in the thirteen weeks since I've been away? <laughs> Yeah, you said it. So what I've just done, I've just popped that again, just onto a bit of the uh, Match and Centura Pearl. I'm just creating a, just a wee bit of a, a matting layer, just to pop that on. And if we just trim that, and then what I'm just going to do is, with this one, some of the sentiments that you'll find that you don't even need the dye. So for instance, this one, you can leave it at just a note. So then I'm just going to take a foam pad, so I'm just going to take that one off and then we're just going to stick this one on. So this is just going to add that wee sentiment just towards the bottom. Then you can come along and you can uh, actually add maybe some gems or pearls, anything like that. So we're just going to press that one on. So if we then just peel that one off and then, you know, you can have a wee play where you want. I'm just going to, towards the bottom just there, and we're just going to press that. So we've got just a uh, just a note to say. Then you could come along and you could die cut the word thanks. You could pop that into the middle, but we can see just there. So even although your top layer is white, that still works so well with the white card blank because you've got that pastel yellow in the background. You can can go darker yellow if you want, but that just works really well. So there we go. There we go and see it just perfectly. It's beautiful. Yes. Susan's uh, Susan says white. Shut the front door. The guillotine has got score lines, Craig. Did you not know that was one of knew. the many great things about it. this? Is we've got the score lines. This is what these are for. So of course you know, yeah, we do have our uh, scoreboards and that. But if you just want to have something to hand where you can actually score all the way down, you've got that there as well. So you've got your score lines, you know, vertically as well as horizontally. Uh, absolutely, it's got score lines. Very, very busy. I'm going to quickly whiz you through uh, what you get in this collection. You get the cherry blossom, you get the lilies, the peony, the rose is coming in here. All going to be using exactly the same way, the tulip, and you've got the water lilies in there as well. Now, to get all of those, £110 or $120 is your price. You're saving a fifth and it is very, very busy there. Now, I'm going to whiz through this because I know Craig is desperate to squeeze one more demonstration in on the peekaboos now a massive 40 percent of the peekaboos have sold out and gone uh, you can see here it's easy to see why because they're just so cute and adorable the other great thing about them is as well you can interchange all the characters and the sentiments if you wish to as well so you've got the polar bear you've got the robin in here you've got the little christmas mouse uh, there is the penguin uh, the reindeer uh, is your favourite so far. This is called, someone said this is also called a barn door card as well, or a double dutch fold card. Uh, loads of different names for all of your different card styles. You've got the reindeers uh, here. You've got the elf, which I, I love about this one is because when you fold it back, you can see it's printed on the inside uh, as well. So you can do both sides there, which is brilliant. And finally, uh, you've got Santa in here as well. So you've got absolutely all of those. Uh, which is brilliant, £41 or $75 uh, if you want to get all of those, which is fantastic. You can buy them individually if you want, £6.98 or £9.95, or you can get any two uh, for £11 or $17 if you'd prefer to get them that way. So loads of different ways uh, for you to get your uh, hands on these. £41, $75 is the best way to get the best value by going for that big collection. Um, so, who's uh, Ray's, uh, Susan saying, uh, I'm picturing the first time Joe calls it Brenda with Sarah, and she's like, who's Brenda? Uh, I'll give her, I'll drop her a text tonight and let her know that we've christened uh, the spray booth, and we've christened it Brenda. Uh, so, yeah, I'll make sure she finds out. Don't you worry about that. Um, been thinking of getting the large guillotine, uh, says uh, Carleen. Can it cut two pieces of heavy cardstock at the same time? Uh, I do lots of wedding cards. Uh, I'm on my third cutter in three years. Absolutely it does. Even our uh, 300, 350 GSM, it cuts like a dream. Absolutely. Brilliant. Uh, Susan says, I don't have a guillotine. I need one now. A uh, lot of love for uh, that. 
uh, guillotine, which is fantastic. Uh, we're making a lot of people hungry, Craig, as well. Making myself uh, hungry. Uh, yeah, I'm making myself, I'm torturing myself is what I'm doing. I'm gonna go straight home and have my dinner right after this show. But before I do that, Craig, uh, you're gonna share with us some more peekaboo, I believe. I am indeed. We're going to do another one just to show you. This time we're going to use the peekaboo, but we're going to create a box. So I have switched over to my large Gemini because the box is going to be uh, larger. So what I've just done is I've just got my cardstock. So it's 10 by eight and a quarter and I've just scored at one and a half all the way around which is then going to actually create our lid. Of course we're doing it on uh, our actual box maker so you can create the coordinated base as well. So what I'm just going to do, just like before, what I'm going to do is just use uh, a pencil line. So I'm just going to actually line this one up along the bottom. I'm just going to do a light pencil line just so that I can line up my frame as well as my snowman. So then I'm just bringing the window arches. So you can choose if you want this have, have this nice curvature or if you want to have this square one that's got that bit of uh, curvature around the edges. So for this one, I think what we'll do is let's use this one. So we can pop that one onto there. And then if we bring in the snowman, so what I'm then just going to do is if I just pop these ones out, I've got a bit of cardstock in there. So then how they work is you will see that these all just fit beautifully along. Now I've got sticky adhesive on my fingers from, uh, from Brenda. So what I'm just going to do. Oh, Brenda, what you like? Place that on. So what we can do is once you kind of get that in line, let's just tape that into place, that outline, so we can tape that one on and then we can do the other one. So just uh, like before, so what we're doing is the bottom of the die, we're actually just following that line just along the pencil line. So if I place that one on, so just matching right up towards the edge and then we're going to do exactly the same with the snowman's head. So if I pop that one on and then we can just move that just slightly tape that into place and we're going to do this one and what that'll do is then that will then die cut all the way round that you can see just there. So what I'm then just going to do is bring in our plate so it's just our larger plate so it is the plastic sh uh, the uh, plastic base, plastic shim as well as the magnetic and top plate. So we can pop that one on. And is that, and is that, that sort of go-to sandwich that you use, is it, Craig, for your die cutting? Absolutely, yeah. When you're doing any die cutting with any of your uh, wafer-thin dies, you will find that that is always uh, the combination. Uh, you'll change it slightly, and the fact is, obviously, if you're using the double-sided dies, and you'll see how we use them, or if you're maybe using the embossing fold, changes slightly. But when it comes to die cutting and our wafer-thin dies, you will find that is what you're going to use uh, majority of the time. So for then, just start to take all these layers off. So let's take them off, move them out the way at the moment, and then we're just going to peel these ones off. So we're just going to just carefully peel them off. Also, uh, Craig, uh, whilst you're peeling that off, I need to let you know, very, very busy on the interchangeable creator card. 70% of that collection uh, has now sold and gone. A lot of you got it in your basket as well. Details there on your screen, 79.97 or 105.57. Uh, if you've decided you want those, definitely get yourself checked out, is what I'd say. They're going very fast as we move towards uh, the end of the show here now. Uh, and I'm right in thinking you get both sets uh, of um, windows in there, Craig, the arcs and the, the more squared one. You do indeed, so that they both actually come on that one sheet. So I'll just show you that one just here. So in case you're wondering uh, where two packets are, they all just come, so both of them just come on that one sheet just there, so that's Brilliant. where Carleen they are. is asking, uh, are they the same uh, that came with the previous peekaboos uh, as in the previous collections? I'm not sure, Craig, do you know? I, I think believe... they were two separate ones before, weren't they, that came with the previous? This one gives you a much deeper arch within the middle, within these ones here. The ones okay. before, I think, were a wee bit thinner, but maybe just slightly bit wider, whereas within these ones here, it gives you that deeper arch anyway. Fantastic. So what I've just done is just folded the edges. Now you would then just come along just with a, an eraser and a rubber and just get rid of that pencil line. So we can just get rid of that one. And then all that we would just do is, because again, it is our uh, Centura Peril, let's just use our uh, finesse. So we can just take our snowman, so take the front of Mr. or Mrs. Snowman, and we're just going to stamp that into place. So again, let's just line him up. 
So as if I start to line him up, just following the outline of the die as well as the stamp, so remove him. So then you've now got the snowman just peeping over the edge. You can see, so cute. Just actually peeping over, just saying, you know, hello, or waiting for someone to walk past so you can chuck a snowball at them, anything like that. So then what we can just do is bring in this other side. So we're just going to pop that one on, and this is going to give the background. So stamp that into place. So you're now decorating the inside of your cards, your boxes, your projects, whatever it is that you are making. So let's just stamp him into place. So not only have you got the front, you've also got the back that you can see just there. Then all that I've just done, like I'd done earlier on, I've just, uh, just stamped and die cut the snowman again. Just coloured him in, just using our classic pens. And then I'm just going to actually place him over the top like that. Then all you, you would do, you know uh, how to uh, make our boxes, if you don't, obviously lots of detail on uh, our website or YouTube, just go across and have a look. And then I'm just going to bring in this one here that we can see. And then you can see there's so all that I've just done, it's just popped a wee bit of acetate into the back. And then we've got oh, the tag. Oh, Craig, you know here. how much I love a tag. You love a tag. So we've got the front of the snowman looking and then the tag that coordinates by the back of them and then you've got some uh, sentiments that you can be using too. Nice wee gift box that you could be using obviously for uh, Christmas time. Mm, absolutely beautiful. The, you know the uh, pitch, the colourway, sorry, reminds me of that. It's very cat in the hat, isn't it? It is the actually, yeah. The blue and the red together, yeah. it really reminds me really of, of that. Um, very, very busy, lots of you loving uh, these. All of this talk about food. I'm ready for a third breakfast, says Susan. <laughs> Sound like my kind of woman, Susan. Third breakfast. I think going out for breakfast, Craig, do you agree, is like very posh. Oh, when yeah. you're going to have, we have breakfast out. I think it's brilliant, I love it, but it seems very like, feels very indulgent going mm -hmm. out for breakfast, don't you think? Not cooking it for yourself on a Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah absolutely, going good. out for, <gasps> yeah. Soon we'll be able to go out for breakfast. Uh, all the restaurants open again uh, soon uh, here in the UK, which is fantastic. Um, love the snowman, says uh, Yolanda. Uh, Carol says, oh, she just pulled her window door out the drawer because uh, she thought it looked different. Thank you, uh, Craig. What a fabulous box, says Suzanne. Absolutely loads going on this week here at Crafters TV. Tomorrow is International Social Media day which is fantastic i'm going to be doing a takeover uh, on the crafters tv instagram uh, so make sure you pop along and have given us a follow over there might see some sneaky behind the scenes craig will be here as well tomorrow so uh, i'm sure we'll catch him uh, having loads of fun uh, now i want to give you a reminder of some of the great stuff that you've seen in this show because it is very very busy uh, the gemini peekaboo christmas stamp and die collection eight different characters within here not only have you got the dies you've got the stamps there too not only as well the concept dies and stamps but also all the sentiment stamps to enable you to construct a full card project not just the peekaboo element and the arches and frames when you choose to get them in that configuration uh, 41 pounds or 75 dollars uh, to get all of those over a third off yes you can go for them individually 6.99 or 9.95 and they're two for 11 pounds or 17 dollars if you choose to get them in that configuration Right, the window dies. These have been so incredibly busy in the show today. Uh, £110 or $120. Uh, lots and lots of love here for the cherry blossom. Uh, if you want to go for these, of course, you'll get free postage and packaging and free shipping and handling. Uh, if you were a platinum member in the UK, you'd save an extra £22 in the US and extra tw uh, $24. Uh, so it really does make them a uh, quite a good price there. And you've got the cardstock included too. Uh, just a little extra bonus for you. Now, I think the busiest item on the show today, though, over 70% of the stock of these has gone. It is your interchangeable creator cards. Now, these are great because what you're, not, what you're getting is, yes, you're getting four die collections, but it's the equivalent of having 12 different creator cards because that sentiment interchanges. And it's not like it interchanges. You can see where that join is. It is completely seamless. You would not know that that is an interchangeable die that you're using very very cleverly uh, worked out and designed by Leanne and her team 79.97 if you want to go for those or 105.57 over 70% of the stock there has sold out and gone the Monday mega deal uh, was also uh, very very busy Cray kicking and screaming as you get some foiling into the show uh, 28.77 or 38.30 is a half price deal for what have been 
uh, traditionally, historically, some of our busiest foil stamp and cut dies that we bring to you. Get them now whilst we've got them. Remember, the Monday Mega Deal only lasts for 24 hours, uh, whereas pretty much all of our deals uh, last, all of our other deals at least, last for 48 hours here on Crafters TV. So make sure uh, you are grabbing those. I think I might go and spend a bit of time in the garden. It's looking a bit overcast out here in my garden today. Craig, yours is glorious. Do you know what it looks like? It looks like that scene where the Teletubbies start out there. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, it I does think. actually, yeah. yeah. It doesn't, yeah. I yeah. expect to see a little horse trotting past your paddock out there is what it reminds me of. Uh, now, we are back again tomorrow, aren't we, Craig? We uh, are. And oh, what a show it is going to be. Do you want to whet our appetite? No. No! <gasps> How rude! No, no it is, it's going to be fun. We've got uh, another uh, couple of hours. It's going to be fast paced. We've got, obviously, as we just found out during this one, we've got the Rose Gold collection. We've got so much. Well, actually, we've got a few things for different occasions tomorrow. It's going to be fun. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a good show. That's for sure. Cannot wait. Uh, absolutely. We'll be doing some little sticky uh, behind the scenes tomorrow, as I said, over on Instagram as well. So make sure you join us there for that very busy day. Uh, that's us done now live for the day here on Crafters TV. Remember, if you are joining us in the US, you're just watching this show, don't forget to go back and watch the earlier show back. It was a masterclass. It was very, very busy uh, earlier today. Tomorrow, uh, John Scott Sewing World will be here at 9am till 11 and that will lead us straight into Soft Side of Life. And then me and Craig will see you back here uh, for the launch party at 4pm here in the UK, 11 a.m. on the East Coast. If you're in America, hope you have a wonderful day. If you're here in the UK, enjoy your evening. Uh, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Big thanks to you guys and a massive thanks as always uh, to Craig as well. Take care.